The man convicted of killing Senator Robert Kennedy more than four decades ago will not be let out of a Central Valley prison anytime soon. Sirhan Sirhan is serving a life sentence at Pleasant Valley State Prison in Colinga for the 1968 assassination of Robert Kennedy. A state board denied him parole today for the 14th time. Action News reporter Shannon Handy explains who Sirhan apologized to during today's hearing and why his lawyer says he should be set free. Today's hearing lasted more than four hours. Witnesses say in the beginning, Sirhan appeared upbeat, but he later became agitated. The two-member board spent 45 minutes deliberating before denying his parole. 66-year-old Sirhan Sirhan says he doesn't remember shooting Senator Robert Kennedy at a Los Angeles hotel back in 1968. During Wednesday's hearing, he answered several questions about that day and apologized for the pain he caused. It's a horrible nightmare, really, for not just for me, but for you people and for the whole country. Five other people were wounded in the attack, including Bill Weisel. Weisel was working as a director for ABC News at the time. A bullet pierced his stomach while he was setting up cable in the hotel. Weisel attended Wednesday's hearing to express his support if the board decided to parole Sirhan. But after Sirhan apologized to him directly, Weisel says he's pleased with the board's decision. He was blaming so many other people. So I, I really question how remorseful he is. Sirhan interrupted the parole board several times Wednesday. At one point, he became upset when the commissioner mentioned President Kennedy's assassination. Not my, not that was not, not my gonna, responsibility. You're not, you're not going to talk in the middle of my... Uh, board members argued Sirhan hasn't spent enough time reflecting on his crime. You need to understand that the nation itself uh, was severely impacted by your act. Meanwhile, Sirhan's attorney, William Pepper, says after spending more than 40 years in a prison cell, his client has served enough time. He says evidence shows Sirhan did not act alone and that the other shooter has never been caught, which is why he will continue pushing for Sirhan's release. We are going to court. There's no way we can allow this kind of a, of a ruling that's not sustainable. They basically, I think, ignored everything that we had to say and they went on the, on the emotional kick of the loss of a presidential candidate. The board will consider Sirhan for another parole review in five years. By that time, he will be 71 years old. Reporting in Kalinga, Shannon Handy, ABC 30 Action News.